the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 308, John 4-6, The True Worship By solving the thirst of the Samaritan woman, who was hollow in heart, Jesus became the living water for all people. First point, the point of the conversation Jesus had with the Samaritan woman was true worship. Through Jesus, Samaria became healed after 800 years. Jesus had a conversation with a Samaritan woman. At this time, Jesus was sitting next to a well, and he was exhausted. It was here that a Samaritan woman came to fetch some water. She had chosen the middle of the day when it was boiling hot in order to avoid others. But Jesus asked her to draw him some water. It was rare for Jews to walk into Samaria, let alone speak to a Samaritan. That is exactly why this woman chose to come outside when no one was around. Despite being embarrassed of her life, she still was proud that she was the descendant of Jacob and was waiting for the Messiah. Jesus told the Samaritan woman, who had many flaws, how she never had to be thirsty again. Jesus told her that the water he offered her could not be given by anyone else, but she could not fathom what he meant. Jesus then told her to bring her husband. Jesus knew her circumstances, and at this she called Jesus a prophet. They continued to speak about worship. Jesus taught her how she could worship God. This could be done anywhere, so long as the worshiper believed in God. This was already said through Jephaniah and Malachi. Jesus became a friend to all nations, and this included the foreign nations. Earlier on, Simeon had pride that Jesus came to shine to the foreign nations. Jesus came and restored the Samaritans after all these years, and taught a Samaritan woman how she was to worship God. Jesus healed many people and then enabled them to come before God through his cross and resurrection. The Samaritan woman's testimony enabled Samaritans to believe in Jesus. After Jesus' conversation with the Samaritan woman, he went back into the town and then taught his disciples about to wash. After this, Jesus started his ministry in Galilee. Second point, Jesus healed a man who had been sick for 38 years and then enabled him to observe the annual festival and Sabbath. The second miracle out of the seven that John records was the miracle of Jesus healing Herod's high official's son. Jesus healed him without being near him. The high official heard and then believed Jesus and returned to his son. This was like the centurion who requested Jesus to heal his servant with words only. With this, the whole family of the high official came to believe in Jesus. John then recorded the third miracle and this was how Jesus healed a man who had been sick 38 years. This was done on Jesus' way to Jerusalem during the annual festival. This was the greatest festival and Sabbath for the man who had been ill for 38 years. However, the Jews were not happy for this man, and this was because Jesus had healed during Sabbath. As such, the Jews had a very wrong idea and understanding about Sabbath. Jesus later met this man in the temple and had a conversation with him. Jesus told him to lead a new life as he had been forgiven. The Sanhedrin assembly used this against Jesus and planned to kill him. 
Despite how Jesus knew what they were thinking, Jesus declared that he was the Lord of Sabbath. This gave the Sanhedrin assembly a good reason to accuse Jesus of blasphemy. Third point, Jesus declared that the Old Testament was written to testify him. Despite knowing that the Sanhedrin assembly was finding any reason to kill him, Jesus went ahead and revealed who he was. He declared that he was the Son of God and taught them about his authority. This was that Jesus and God shared all authority. Jesus and God both have the power of resurrection. Jesus has the right to judge with the power of God. Jesus' judgment, therefore, is the will of God, and thus, anyone who believes in Jesus is able to gain eternal life. Jesus declared that he was the Son of God, and that this was declared all throughout history. Jesus himself declared that he was the Son of God. Jesus rebuked the Sanhedrin assembly for knowing the scriptures and knowing that they point to Jesus and yet refusing to believe in him. Fourth point, St. John wrote down seven ways Jesus expressed himself. From the seven miracles of Jesus, the fourth was when Jesus fed thousands of hungry people. This miracle is recorded in all four Gospels. But John's Gospel is the only one to record the story of Philip and Andrew. When Jesus told his disciples to feed the people, Andrew asked how they were physically able to do this. Philip then told Jesus that this was not feasible. Although Philip provided mathematical calculations, both he and Andrew showed little faith in Jesus. After this, John recorded Jesus' fifth miracle of walking on water. Through this, Jesus changed the fear of the disciples into faith. Following this, Jesus taught them that he was the bread of life. John recorded how Jesus introduced himself, bread of life, light of the world, gate for the sheep, good shepherd, resurrection and life, way, truth and life, and true vine. When the Jews who had known Jesus for a while heard this, they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? And so Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Fifth point, the people who were taught by Jesus showed two different reactions. After hearing Jesus' teaching, the people showed varied responses. First, there were some who left Jesus. They had no interest in Jesus' spiritual teaching and did not believe that Jesus was the Messiah. Second, there were those who believed in Jesus and followed him. Jesus here said that one of his disciples was the Satan. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person he created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.